So, this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be for August 13th through the 15th. Now, keep in mind with this being general, you only want to take what does apply to you and let the rest fly. If you want a personal, check out the information listed below. And make sure, of course, you guys subscribe so you never miss a beat. And let's go ahead and just jump straight into the reading. <laughs> so, let me back this up. The first card is going to represent the theme. And we have the nine of discs to represent that, the nine of pentacles. So, right off the bat, Pisces, um, this time frame has a lot to do with growth. Um, I see that you guys will be experiencing, like, or not even experiencing, this is just you realizing all the exponential growth that you guys have done so far, or realizing the level of growth that you guys still have to go through, have to experience. Um, this is you being able to call out or realize where certain things or certain energies you may have been participating in or giving energy to may have been more so detrimental to you to you than anything else. Um, this is you guys also wanting a level of independence. If you're like a younger adult or in some way, somehow like you have a roommate or you live with someone else, or you're just in a position to where you feel like you have to depend on someone else just a little too much. This is a time frame in which you guys are getting really tired of that and just want to kind of do things on your own, whether that's like business wise, wanting to kind of be on your own or like, again, living wise or whatever the circumstance may be some of you may be married to someone who you know may control you by having you at home all the time and you don't really like that yeah this is you wanting more for yourself financially too my um pisces who have already been putting in that work and doing your thing in terms of staying focused, this is a time frame in which you guys are really going to start to reap the benefit of your harvest. Now, when it comes to past energy that you guys came from, we have the nine of cups. So this is you either being in this more self-fulfilled energy after realizing that you have everything you need, or on the surface, things may have been pretty much fine, but below the surface, you may have felt like there were still some pieces that weren't necessarily connecting. I even see that some of you weren't really content. This is more so you realizing what you need to feel content within a particular relationship, career, what have you, and like more so wanting to strive for that, wanting to go after that. Um, clarifying that, I do have the King of Wands. You guys may have really wanted a Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo for, for you two to get the act together. Now, when it comes to what I see for the present, I do have the Prince of Wands. So presently, hmm. Presently, there may be this shifty energy between you and a particular individual. One sec, you guys are good. Next second, you guys are like arguing and fighting or just not on the best of page or on the best of um, rapport. Clarifying that I have the um, nine of swords. So presently, you guys may be really stressed out about this individual because it's like, okay, are we going to get things together? Are we going to make things right? Why do you guys keep arguing? Why do you guys like have this inconsistent energy for this relationship? Hmm. Some of you are trying to figure out like, why do you have like occasional burnout or more burnout than you usually would like? And it may have a lot to do with just more so your subconscious and what's going on there. So what I would say is watch what you feed to your subconscious, okay? Music, you know, TV, what you consume when you're sleeping, if you leave the TV on, things like that. 
Now, what I see for the future, we have the Queen of Discs. So there may be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo of significance in the future. Or again, this is a focus on finances, money. How can you make more money? How can you be more financially secure? Should you trust certain individuals? Should you open up? Okay. Some of you will be focusing on health related stuff, but definitely on finances and looking at whether or not certain individuals are trustworthy. Um, if you can confide in them, looking at whether or not it's worth giving certain, in, uh, certain people energy. Oh my God. Oh, some of you also may realize that you may have a family member who's like really manipulative when it comes to money or like a, someone around you who may be slightly manipulative when it comes to money. They may be like coming to you knowing that if they ask you for money that you're not going to deny them or say no. So they could be using that to their advantage. So be careful of being overly giving to certain people because they will take 17 miles if you give them an inch. Okay. Now, the advice, I have the seven of pentacles. There's a need for you to make sure that you're looking at mm, what you're giving your, your energy to, for one. Um, if we're talking about relationships, people, have you gotten what you've been necessarily looking for out of the situation or has it left you more so unfulfilled? And also in that same tune, because I said this for another sign right before this one, I think it was Virgo. Um, what I said with this card too, on the flip side, there's a need for you to exercise a level of patience when it comes to your creative or passion related dreams. Of course, make sure you have a concrete plan, but anything that you're doing, I always say this, anything that you're doing to reap any long-term benefits is not an overnight process of, okay, I dedicate myself this week and then next week things are, you know, moving and shaking the way that I would like it to. It's an over the years type of process, but this is what I see. I hope I did put things in perspective. If you took something from this video, feel free to thumbs this video up and subscribe. Check out the information as well if you would like a personal reading. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.